the Shark Deck. I'm Johnny Mack with five good news stories. Hey, good news. We found your dog. I know it's been 12 years, but we found your dog thanks to a microchip and a friendly animal control officer who helped bring him home. Alyssa said, the second I opened up the kennel door, I saw from the dog's body language, his tail started wagging and he didn't stop jumping around the whole time. He knew after all this time, he still knew. We went inside. He was running all around. He was like a new puppy again. Well, the puppy is 15. 12 years ago, Skip and Rally adopted a three-year-old dog named Minion. Skip said he was a great little guy. One day, they left the backyard gate open. Minion, gone. The family did what you did. Put up signs, drove around. Looked in the shelters, no luck. Callie, who's now 20, was a little girl and said it was definitely super sad. He was so playful and loved to sleep on my bed. We had a special bond. So one day, Rally is teaching school and started receiving phone calls from an unknown number. And they started leaving voicemail messages and she couldn't return the calls because she was teaching class. Turned out it was from a Maricopa County Animal Control Field Officer. It was legitimate. She had details around his initial adoption and information that no one else would have known. So we reached out and they were pretty amazing. The dog had been turned in. Somebody had reported it as a stray. The voicemail said, hey, I have this dog. His name is Minion. If he's yours, call me back. Minion was Minion. Skip the dad said, he's old. He's slow. His eyes are really cloudy, so I don't really know how much he could see, and I don't think he has a lot of teeth. He's got a few things we need to take care of, but I think we have a few good years left. I wonder where the dog was for 12 years. That's just amazing, right? Congratulations to Lee and Renee. They celebrated their 50th anniversary Lee gave up 80 acres of crops and planted 1.2 million sunflowers. I guess you just throw seeds down, right? I could probably plant, quote unquote, plant, I don't know, 100 sunflowers in like one second. I don't know how it works. 1.2 million sunflowers sounds like a lot. He kept it secret for three months until their big anniversary. Renee said, it made me feel very special. It couldn't have been a more perfect anniversary gift. People came around for miles to take pictures and check out the flowers when they were in bloom. Starbucks workers raised over $40,000 for their beloved barista after her car was burglarized. Karen considers herself a Starbucks mom to her 19-year-old co-workers. She said, I know these kids love me and that's what makes my life worthwhile. Karen is 65. Jaden is a sophomore at the local college and said that Karen had been having a lot of problems with her car in the past. Battery not working and not starting. Neighbors were having to give her jump start, stuff like that. Another co-worker said, one day she came into work and she's like, yeah, somebody stole my catalytic converter last night. My car just isn't doing well. At that point, we're like, she can't drive that car anymore. It's barely running. We talked about it and we floated around the idea of starting a fundraiser for her. After work, I got back to my dorm. I decided just to make it because I figured even we couldn't raise that much money, any amount would help her. It was like a spur of the moment thing. The GoFundMe was called We Love You, Karen. And we started to help her buy a working car and ensure she wouldn't have to worry about monthly bills. The page was signed by Anonymous Baristas. The fundraiser, $40,000. Original goal, ten grand. Hey, good news. We found your wallet that had $2,000 cash in it. That's a lot of money to have in your wallet. What are you doing? Anyway, a Minnesota boy was fishing and reeled in a wallet that had $2,000 cash in it. Even more amazing, he returned it. Connor said, we were doing some walleye fishing and then going out to an island in Lake of the Woods. It was pretty windy. I felt something on my line. I reeled it up. I thought it was going to be a really big walleye, bigger than what we usually catch up there, by the way. Cousin Brandon got a net to help him bring in the fish. But when my cousin pulled it out of the water with the net, I was really confused. At first, I thought it could have been a fish, I guess, because it was brown and slimy. Nope, it was a wallet with $2,000 in it. Fortunately, there was also an ID, but no phone number. However, there was a business card from a cattle rancher in Wisconsin named Sherry. Sherry connected Connor with somebody who lived more than 500 miles away from where this all took place. How did the wallet get there? Well, in July of 2022, Jim and his wife Karen went fishing on the last night of the trip. Jim went to pay the bill and his pocket was empty. He didn't know what had happened to his wallet. Jim said, I was devastated. I didn't know what to do. There I was, broke. So the other guys floated me the money to pay up. Anyway, everybody connected and Jim's like, you guys keep the money. The money's already been gone. And the other people are like, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to send it back to you. And they did. They cleaned up the money. The money looked like it had been rinsed off or something. Most of the slime was off anyway. Jim said, I'm coming to Minnesota to meet you folks because I'm going to take you out for the biggest supper you ever ate. And good news for UFC fighter Themba Garimbo. He had been sleeping on his gym couch. He had $7 in the bank. And now Dwayne The Rock Johnson bought him a house. 
Grimbo won a fight. Then it was revealed he had just $7 in his bank. That went viral. The Rock saw the story on Twitter and vowed to help. The Rock went on social media, surprised Grimbo as he gave an interview about their interaction. Grimbo said, you inspire me to work hard. Thank you. I will become a champion. Trust me. Believe me. The Rock said, your story moved me. When I found out you had seven bucks in your bank account, I know what that's like. I was here in Miami when I had seven bucks. But then you win your fight and you sell your fight kit. You buy a water well for your village in Zimbabwe so your people can have clean water. Because you could have taken that money and put it down on a car in an apartment, but you didn't. You took care of your people. And that just says exactly who you are. And that's why I flew all the way in, man, just to look you in the eyes, brother, and tell you I got your back. Oh, as for that couch, Grimbo said, this couch is going with me wherever I'm going to go now. And that's your five good news stories for the day. If you enjoy the show, tell a friend about it. Maybe they'll like it too. And you can all follow the show for free on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, wherever you get your shows. You have a great day.